Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Welcome to A Toast to the Men with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Let's go. When you let her choose, you can't lose. Now, this video is for the righteous brother, the brother with good intentions. It's not for the player. It's not for the pimp. It's not for the uh, unrighteous manipulator, for the righteous brother. Now, first thing, when I say choose, I don't mean chase. I don't mean pursue. When I say a woman must choose, that means she must make herself available to you, right? That's what that means. When a woman makes herself available to you, she's choosing. If you're in a place, uh, a, a library, church, a club, a lounge, uh, online, if she's interested, she'll make herself available to you if she's into you. She'll actually notice you before you notice her. Oh, yeah, brothers. Yeah, the women notice us before we notice them. We only typically notice them when they make themselves available. Case in point. Uh, at the end of the day, we're primitive creatures, man. Oh, we got a primitive uh, aspect to us. Uh, we're mammals. Uh, and so I like to compare it to, say, the Lion Kingdom. The female, the lioness, she really does the choosing, right? And it's up to the male to select. He determines if they're going to have a relationship. But she determines if they're going to have sex. They're going to, you know, come together sexually. Watch some of those, those uh, Animal Kingdom videos, man. The lioness will make herself available. When I say make herself available, she put herself in the presence of the alpha male. She put herself in the presence of him. She may, you know, stretch out, lay on her back, mosey back and forth, but she's going to be in his presence. Will she chase him? No. But she's making herself available to let him know I'm interested. It's up to him to go ahead and make that first move. So to actually be the aggressor. A woman making herself available doesn't make her an aggressor. She's just letting you know, giving you that cue that she's into you, she's feeling you. But it's up to the man to step up to the plate and be the aggressor. We can say pursue, never chase, but pursue, nothing wrong with that. Now, there's levels to a woman choosing. <clears throat> the first level is on the surface level. We could say superficial level. That's physical attractiveness. You want her to choose you first because she's physically attracted to you. I'll get to that later. Secondly, you want her to choose you when she gets to know you, she meets you. You want her to choose you because she respects your mind, right? She respects your intellect. Next, you want her to choose you because she respects your grind. She respects what you can do for her, what she, you can provide for her. You know, that doesn't mean she's a gold digger because we got these first two other steps out the way. You have to keep it in this order. First, she's attracted to you physically. Then she's attracted to you mentally. Mentally, spiritually. Spiritually goes hand in hand, the way you think, your mindset. And then she's attracted to your grind the way you provide, the way you make money. She's attracted to that. And hopefully it's in a respectful manner. And you'll have her respect long ways, a long time. If you're getting your grind on respectfully and righteously, you'll always have her respect. Now, the reason she must attract, be attracted to your grind and choose you also because of your grind, because it's natural for a woman to want to be protected, provided for, right? That's, that's natural. That doesn't make her a gold digger. That's natural. What can make her a gold digger 
if the steps of her choosing you are out of order, right? If step one of her choosing you is because of your grind, it's out of order. Because then she's going to have to find out, oh, damn, I didn't notice he was he was kind of handsome. Or, damn, he's, he's grown on me over the years after she spent all your money. Or um, the second step of choosing you intellectually, <laughs> she won't respect your mind. She, you can't tell her nothing. You can't lead her if she doesn't respect your mind. Or you don't want five, six years to pass. She's been putting you through this hell and then will realize, damn, he ain't, ain't as dumb as I thought he was. Nah, man. First, she must respect you from a physical level. And physical beauty is subjective. It's all in the eye of the beholder. What's attractive or beauty to me may not be the same to you. So it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks as long as you're attractive to her. She must be attracted to you. Uh, so it doesn't matter what her friends think, what her mom thinks, what the world thinks. If that woman's attracted to you, hey, that's cool. That's the first step. Second step, like I said, intellectually, respect your mind. You can't lead her and she won't follow if she doesn't respect your mindset. Now, within that mindset comes focus and discipline and spirituality. No, you don't have to be a member of a church. You don't have to be a part of a religious sect. But, man, you must have some principles, some morals, uh, a code of ethics, you know, that you live by. And uh, you have to be a sober-minded thinker, you know, uh, a calm thinker, sober-minded thinker, where she respects you, uh, respects what you're saying, and she'll follow you. And like I said, thoroughly, she must choose you because of your grind, right? You don't want any of that out of order or any of those things missing. Because what can happen, and I've seen this before, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll make exceptions with women. And I don't know if they don't realize this or they don't want to be honest about it. But man, we'll make exceptions. We may not be until she got a, uh, <clears throat> a muffin. What do you call it? The, the, the stomach pouch. We may, may not even be into that, right? But we'll marry that woman. We'll actually marry that woman because she has this, this, and that. Uh, she may have a just only a high school education. Hey, typically, you know, in the perfect world, we may be wanting someone with a college degree or whatever, but we'll make an exception. She brings these other things, right? And we'll be content. That's the number one thing. We'll be content with it. We'll make exceptions, and I've seen this firsthand. If the woman doesn't perform oral sex, I know guys who have married women who don't perform oral sex, but the man wants oral sex. And they married these women. Listen, man. That's what I'm saying, the difference in <laughs> men and women. A woman is not going to marry a man that doesn't perform oral sex if she likes oral sex. It's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. If she does it, she only did it because things are out of order. She chose that man first on his grind, right, where he could provide things out of order. Um, or she's been super immature and, and chose this guy simply on his physical attributes, right? And uh, maybe his sex, but uh, things out of order. And when things out of order, the woman is gonna either flee or cheat. Simple as that, man. And she, she won't have any respect for you for sure. I've known women who have left men because the man was boring. So you got to ask yourself, like, how did you connect and why did you connect with this man in the first place? Um, I've known women who have connected with men who were four, 500 pounds. They were not attracted to these men. But the men had a nice grind. They could provide things financially, and superficially, materialistically. So they connected with these men. You know, these are true stories. 
right? Uh, so that's why as men, you got to make sure these things are in order, the proper order, because a woman can lose focus and, and, and just <laughs> lose uh, her attention span can go like that if something is out of whack like that. But uh, we'll stick around. Now, I'm not saying men won't cheat if something's out of whack, but we ain't leaving. Typically, we ain't leaving. No, nah, we ain't leaving. But a, a woman will actually replace you like uh, like Corey Holcomb say. Women cheat with people they actually like, you know. Uh, men are kind of different, but uh, women cheat with somebody they would actually be with. So, uh, you know, that's the difference. But yeah, man, she must choose you. First thing, she's making herself available. How she's doing that? If you're on the spot, she's putting herself in your presence. Number one way of making herself available, her time. Her time, her energy. If she's willing to counsel things, willing to move around some things, willing to meet you, the spare of moment, last minute, that's a great sign. That means she's choosing. She's making herself available. That's the number one thing. Next, hey man, if she's not physically attracted to you, don't even waste your time. You got to be honest with yourself. And you don't ask her. You'll, you'll know. You'll know. But uh, don't waste your time if she's not. Secondly, she must respect your mind. She must respect your mind state, respect how you think, uh, your discipline, your focus. She has to respect that. Your spirituality, your principles, man, your, your uh, code of ethics. She must respect that. And uh, the way you stand on it, or you can't lead her. She will not listen. Thirdly, she must respect your grind. Because if she respects you physically, and she's made herself available to you before then, then she respects you physically. Then she respects your mind, right? But then you can't manifest that into anything with the grind. She's like, oh, you're a, you a, you a handsome, smart dude. But you can't manifest anything, right? Hey man, she she's gonna she's gonna lose respect. She's gonna lose interest, right? That's my take on it. Hey, when she chooses, you can't lose, right? When you let her choose, you cannot lose. Always remember that. Peace.